I request everyone to stand the attention for Tamil Thai Marathon. Niraarun kadaludutta nila madam thay kedi lodugum. Siraarun madana mena digal parada kanda nidu. Ekkanamum adil siranda thavida nal tirnaadu. Takka siru tirai nudalum thari thanarum ilagamuni. வார்த்துதுமே
conflict transition towards becoming an independent republic. This 73rd Republic Day represents the true spirit of the independent India. The Constitution of India is a huge document which lays down procedures, powers, duties, fundamental rights and directive principles of government of India. An interesting point to note here is that India got independence on August 15, 1947 from the British rule which is celebrated as the Independence Day of India. However, it is November 26, 1949 that Indian constitution was first adopted but the integration of this big nation and unifying the wide variety of cultural diversities was not done until January 26, 1950 when the Indian constitution came into effect. A sovereign socialist secular democratic republic that secures all its citizens justice, liberty, equality and fraternity according to its preamble. The governing principle of Indian constitution is of the people, for the people and by the people. May this day infuse each and every heart with great spread and love for our country. Jai Hind! Thank you Kartik. Now I invite Razati to welcome the gathering by a graceful dance. Tanam tum tatanam tum tatanam tum tatanam tum tatanam tanam ta din tanana tanam tanam ta tanam tanam ta din tanana tanam tanam ta ilaya baradam yelgave ilaya baradam yelgave udu ulag kaviyam yelgave. Together to bring in the joy of being an Indian. 
On this great day, it gives immense pleasure to start this auspicious day by heartily welcoming everybody. Amidst us, we have an inspiring, vibrant, dynamic personality, our chief guest. Welcome, dear sir. I'm happy to welcome our leaders, Sister Pauline, our correspondent, Sister Susila, our principal, Sister Satya, our guide who tune us to march towards the right direction. Welcome, dear sisters. It's my ardent pleasure to welcome our teaching and non-teaching staff who chisel and shape our lives and to make us good citizens of our society. Lovable welcome to you. I welcome the parents, our well wishes to the celebration. My hearty welcome to all of the students. Welcome one and all. Thank you for the warm welcome. Prayer should be the key of the day and lock for the night. Now, let's begin the prayer service. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 17. Now, the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reading from the Holy Quran. One with who was knowledge of the scripture said, I will bring a tea before thy grace they return unto thee. And when he saw it set in his presence, said, This is of the bondy of my Lord, that he may try me whether I give thanks or am ungrateful. Whosoever give thanks, he only give thanks for his own soul. Whosoever is ungrateful only to his own soul hurt. For my Lord is absolute in independence, wonderful. Amen. Reading from the Bhagavad Gita, anyone who is steady in his determination for the advanced stage of spiritual realization and can equally tolerate the onslaughts of distress and happiness is certainly a person eligible for liberation. Om Shati Om. Bless our country, Lord God of our mind. Bless our India today. We are the children of the people, so we we'll love with you. Let that love not fade away. Down in the forest where the trees are whispering, our sages are down to pray. Kudup Minar. As Kudup Minar is a minaret, the symbol of victory, Lord, we offer unto your divine arms all the battles of life that we, the citizens of India, face. The economical crisis, socio-political inequality, cultural and regional differences. We pray, merciful Father, that we may be victorious from all these social evils of our nation, especially to fight the battle of COVID-19 and Omicron viruses. Lord, hear our prayer. Red Fort. As Red Fort is the symbol of our architectural heritage, loving Lord, we surrender under thy feet all our dreams, desires and ambitions. Heavenly Father, we offer this institution of ours, especially our management, teaching and non-teaching staff, along with all our goals, achievements and success so that we may stand tall amidst all odds and work for your glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Lion, capital of Ashoka, national emblem of India, we offer this sculpture marvel featuring four ascetic lions mounted on an abacus with a freeze carrying sculpture in high relief of an elephant, a gallowing horse, a bull, and a lion, separated by intervening spoke chariot wheels. As this symbolizes unity and diversity, we, the people of India, may inculcate the value and the respect of uniqueness of each individual, enrich our life by ever widening circles of friendship. Enlighten us to break down our barriers 
and celebrate our oneness. Lord, hear our prayer. Chakra As Ashoka Chakra is the symbol of Dharma Chakra, Lord, we beseech Thee to grant us to use knowledge to enlighten the young minds, especially educate our students in the right faith and in firm hope. Give them values for life. May our every effort make our students' life brighter. Lord, instill in our young minds love for nation and thus serve our nation with diligence and with dignity. Lord, hear our prayer. As Parliament of India, the Supreme Legislative Body of the Republic of India, Loving Father, we offer all the leaders of our nation who are, who were, and who will be in the near future. Grant them wisdom, in decision, insight, and strong willpower to serve the nation with justice and peace. Lord, make our nation a current free and prosperous in all global fields. Bless our people with good health and protect them from these dreadful diseases. Lord, hear our prayer. Concluding prayer. Almighty God, who has given us this good land for our heritage, we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves people, mindful of thy favour and glad to do thy will. Bless our lands with honourable industry, sound learning and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord and confusion, from pride and arrogance and from every other evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people, the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. Endue the spirit of wisdom in those whom we entrust the authority of government that there may be justice and peace at home. And through obedience to thy law, we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness and in the days of trouble, suffer not our trust in thee to fail, which we ask through Jesus Christ, Amen. Our school students will show their patriotism through their elocution skills. I would like to invite Yashita Sri to give a speech in English. Hello everyone, an amiable and gracious welcome to all. Before I go ahead, I would like to wish you all a happy and a thriving Republic Day. Freedom in the mind, strength in the words, pureness in the blood, pride in our soul, zeal in our hearts. Let's salute our India on this Republic Day 2022. As we are celebrating the 73rd Republic, may the bread be to support nation, guide us to peace and prosperity, so that we can hold our heads high and be proud of our country. Today, the day when few fellow Indians talked about the fear of losing the basic rights that the Constitution has given us. There, the day becomes more important. 26 January is celebrated as an auspicious day to remember the historic moment when our nation became an independent republic country. As we all know, India got its independence on 15th August 1947. And now the country didn't have its own constitution. Instead, India was governed by the laws implemented by the British. And however, after many amendments and deliberations, a committee headed by Dr. Bimra Ambedkar submitted a draft of the Indian Constitution which was adopted on 26 November 1949 and officially came into effect on 26 January 1950. But beyond this all, the Constitution declares that India is a sovereign, socialist, secular and a democratic republic. It assures its citizens justice, equality, liberty and fraternity. It also gives us our rights and duties as citizens. And now we live in a democratic country where people enjoy their fundamental rights. In a society, there may be different cause, different religion and many other things that separate us by a broader picture. But we all are Indians. India is a land which is a great example for unity and diversity. Our beauty of the country is that we have different languages, many conflicts and differences. But on national festival, even a moment of today, we all stand as a united force. So buddies, no matter rich or poor, a powerful politician or a regular citizen, let us continue to respect the basic principles and values given by our amazing constitution. So as we move forward to continue to build 
Now, I would like to call upon Ayush Kumar to deliver a speech in a national language Hindi. Shri Pradhan Adhyapika Ji, Atiti Gan, Siksha Gan and my dear friends, first of all, I will give you all the good news of the Gantantra Divas. I am sure that you all know that today we will be here on the 26th of January of the year. That's why we will be here on the 26th of January. क्योंकि इस दिन भारत को एक लिखित संविधान के रूप में कानून और अधिकार प्राप्त हुए थे मैं आप सबको बताना चाहता हूं कि इस वर्ष हम बहत्तरवा गणतंत्र दिवस मनाने के लिए एकत्रित हुए हैं यूं तो भारत उन्नीस में ही एक आजाद देश बन गया था लेकिन 26 जनवरी 1950 के दिन इसे एक लोकतांत्रिक देश का दर्जा दिया गया इसके प्रवर्तन के बाद भारत संघ आधिकारिक तौर पर सामाकालीन गणतंत्र भारत बन गया जिसने भारत सरकार अधिनियम 1935 के मूलभूत शासकीय दस्तावेज में बदल दिया था हमारे देश को संविधान द्वारा एक संप्रभु धर्म निरपेक्ष समाजवादी और लोकतांत्रिक गणराज्य घोषित किया गया था हमारा संविधान भारत के नागरिकों को न्याय स्वतंत्रता उनके बीच समानता के बारे में आश्वस्त करता है भारत के संविधान के अनुसार सभी भारतीय एक समान के दर्जे के हकदार हैं। भले ही वह किसी भी जाति धर्म या लिंग से संबंध रखते हैं। इसलिए भारत को विश्व का सबसे बड़ा प्रजातंत्र माना गया है लेकिन चिंता का विषय यह है कि भारतीय नागरिक अपने कर्तव्यों को भूलते जा रहे हैं जिसके रहते देश के हजारों लोग पलायन कर रहे हैं विभिन्न कारणों से देश छोड़ के जा रहे हैं क्योंकि हर कोई भ्रष्टाचार के पीछे पागल है कुछ ही लोग हैं जो ईमानदारी के साथ अपना काम कर रहे हैं जिन जिसके कारण नागरिक अपने देश में सुरक्षित भविष्य का अनुभव नहीं कर पा रहे हैं चीजों को सही बनाने की कोशिश करने की बजाय वे एक को रास्ता अपनाते हैं जिनसे उन्हें चीजों से भागना ही खुशहाल जिंदगी जीने का सबसे अच्छा तरीका लगता है कम से कम भारत की आबादी को इस देश का सामाजिक स्थिति के मुक्त रखने का प्रयास करना चाहिए यह हर नागरिक की जिम्मेदारी बनती है कि वह भारतीय संविधान की मर्यादा को कायम रखने की हर संभव कोशिश करे हमारे स्वतंत्रता सैनियों ने हमें आजाद करवाने के लिए लाखों प्रयास किए हैं इसलिए उनकी मेहनत को बेकार नहीं जाने देना चाहिए और अपने देश के विकास के और कदम बढ़ाना चाहिए धन्यवाद थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर इन्फॉर्मेटिव स्पीच आयुष कराते कराते बिल सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस इन ओवरकमिंग नाउ वी आर हियर टू व्यू दिंग परफॉर्मेंस बाई स्कूल स्टूडेंट
pleasant one to hear. Thank you, dear teachers, for that wonderful singing. I am Ammanakkam. Yenadu peyad, he art polupdian. Jabalar, neerum patri, odi silas, khaltu kalai, solgindre. Jabalar, pagi, pagi nalle, pagi nolle. Born in Mavasi family, by 181835. My parents are Nidni and Manikarnika. Do it my better against and bitches. There is no one to take care of my lesson. So, it died in Mavabad. I won the battle. So only till now, I am remembered as a woman of bravery. So in lady and gentleman, fight your battle courage. Jai Hind! Yeah. 
is ballet celebrate children day jai jai thank you ma'am hi ma'am i am lakshan she was sure about jawaharlal jawaharlal was born on 14 november 1888 He was the first prime minister in India. Great freedom fighter. He loved children. He celebrated celebrated children day. Jai Jai. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. God bless you. I am Pandit Jawaharlal. First prime minister of India was born on 14th November 1889. The first birthday. Children's Day. My father's name is Ismotia Nayo. My mommy's name is Ishwaru Pani. My other children. Very much, and children call me Cha Cha Nehru. I'm very successful and I want to need the education. The dream, dream. Happy morning, public day. Good morning, sister. Good morning, teachers. I am A Koshal Madalin. Mark one. I am Pindra. Priyadarshini Gandhi. I am first famous India. Madras, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Thank you. Happy Madhya Pradesh, ma'am. I am Pumandar. Mom, sir, I am going to talk about Mongolian control Gandhi. Mongolian control Gandhi.
பாப்போம் சரோஜினி நாயகி ஃபேமஸ் கோயர் ஹேன் ஃப்ரீ ஃப்ரீம் ஃபைட்டர் ஆஃப் இந்தியா ஷீ வாஸ் நோன் அஸ் நைட் நைட் இஸ் கோல இந்தியா ஷீ வாஸ் ஒன் ஆன் ஃபேப் ஃபெப்ரவரி 13 1879 sacrifice her life she sacrificed her life uh, for our country the rani lakshmi boy is shiny example of patriotism and pride of our country thank you jai hind my name is tanya i am studying montu Today, I am playing the role of Indra Gandhi. My name is Indra Priyadarshini Gandhi. I am a only daughter of Jawaharlal Nehru and Kamala Nehru. I, my father was only first, first minister prime minister of india of india i am only first, first i am first woman prime minister woman prime minister of india i love my country every drop every drop of my blood will contribute will contribute for my nation's growth for my nation's growth my slogan my slogan garbi hata garbi hata desh bachao desh bachao jai hind jai hind thank you ma'am good morning my name is sirani Studying in Montour Second Art Center School with Bilam. Today I am going to say the rules of Satyabadi Sivaji Magaraj. Satyabadi Sivaji was a brave ruler. He created the Marathi 
God bless you. Jai Hind. Thank you, sister. Thank you is the best prayer anyone could say. I say that one a lot. Thank you expresses extreme gratitude, humility, understanding 
as the saying goes now i call upon darwin to give vote of thanks i feel honored to propose this vote of thanks on behalf of sevedar central school and my own behalf on the occasion of the republic day celebration first i would like to wish you all a very happy republic day we are all grateful to the constitution that came into effect on this day i would like to express my deep sense of gratitude to our chief guest for accepting our invitation and attending our celebration as a chief guest his valuable presence and life changing thoughts has motivated us a lot i would like to thank our correspondent mr paulin who always work for the upliftment of our school i would like to thank our principal for taking initiative to plan to arranging this wonderful celebration you are our inspiration and ideal i extend my heartfelt thanks to our guiding star mr nirmal satya further i would like to thank our teaching and non teaching staff for the taking efforts for the successful organization of our school's republic day celebration now it is time to thank all our students and parents for taking a lot of effort for the success of the celebration our student activities and cultural program are praiseworthy thank you all and have a nice day of republic day celebration thank you darwin now i request everyone to stand in attention for national anthem <laughs> 